Uh, Mayo from, uh, from Melbourne, Australia, born in New Zealand. And we're here in Darwin NT, painting a nice big wall on the Esplanade. I think Denise uh, really likes the work. She's been super positive. Uh, she's been here throughout the week with her daughter. So I'll see what they think now that it's finally finished. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully they love it. Having a pretty picture and, and having people walk away is not my intention. I think that having ADHD and, and having a maximalist art style it goes hand in hand because not only can I grab someone's attention as they're walking by, but I can actually, I can actually keep it. The mural behind me, as you see, is a collaborative work between Morgan Lavaco and myself. So Morgan actually comes from Gulf Province, uh, that's like in the city. Now I come from the north of Papua New Guinea, that's in Madang. So we have two different styles working here in the mural. I wanted to do something that appeals to both Darwin locals and to tourists. So for me, I never meant to be in Darwin this long. And these are all the little pieces of Darwin that I see when I look at the town as a whole. And I hope other people get enough joy out of it like I do. I think having an opportunity to travel with my work is always something that I absolutely love. And so I think that doing these street art festivals, it's just like an incredible opportunity and I feel really lucky to be able to do it and to be able to take my work into different places and meet new people and have a different audience. And it's, yeah, overall just been really nice. I've been lucky enough to paint Indigenous subjects all over the world from you know, First Nations people in the US and to Islander people in you know, Guam and New Zealand and all over. Uh, but obviously being from Australia, it's, it's very important for me to represent and to be able to paint Indigenous subjects here and to you know, shine a light on them and, and bring awareness to, to them and their culture and as much as possible. It's super fun because it's like a combination of having some friends here, meeting new people, finding new artists. Yeah, for sure. I love Darwin. Like, it has a real place in my heart, this city. I think it's such a unique, great, fun, lively place to be. Yeah, I've worked with deaf artists many times. I think it's a great opportunity to do that in a mainstream community event. So having two deaf artists here for Darwin Street Art Festival is great exposure to be seen, you know, that we can do this kind of stuff too. Um, yeah, we've had a few deaf people, local Darwin um, deaf community members coming to have a look. I didn't expect to meet that many deaf people here. It's been great. So they come to see the, the art. People have been curious and then they're looking at their own hands in an interesting way, thinking, oh, maybe I can use my hands to sign as well. I feel like Darwin is such a supportive place and that everyone wants to see our walls become beautiful and even um, when you are that temporary sort of place, even the businesses and everybody are really supportive. They really want to see you succeed. Um, my overall impression and I guess experience of being up here at the Darwin Street Art Festival has just been amazing. Everyone is so lovely. Um, and welcoming and kind, like it's actually just so beautiful up here. And it, I think the people definitely make it. It's been so cool painting and learning off the crew at the Darwin Street Art Festival in 2023. I like to draw, but I like to draw really small. And here I am learning from the pros on how to transfer my tiny drawings into something massive. And I'm just gaining so much confidence and meeting some really cool people. So it's been really great.